Welcome everybody. Today we're going to show you the best settings to optimize your NVIDIA graphics card for esports titles. Let's get right into it. All right, so step one is open up your browser, Google GeForce Experience. Once that's come up, download it, install it. Once that's installed, open it up, select the drivers tab, check for updates for your latest driver, and download that one. Once it's downloaded, you have the option to install it. Click install, and once that's done, you have the latest NVIDIA drivers. That's step one. Once it's all installed, right click on your desktop, click on the NVIDIA control panel. I'm going to go through a few settings here, starting with the manage 3D settings. In this first uh, list here, we're going to go through and select a few of the options here. Number one, Head to DSR factors, click on that one and uncheck everything you see in this list that will cause it to turn off. What this will do is only show your native resolution in game and won't give you the option to upscale anything, but this is all right. This is what you want. Next option is low latency mode. Hit the drop down list. Usually it's off, select ultra. And the last option here is under power management mode. This is normally set to normal. Hit the drop down list and click on prefer maximum performance. Hit the apply button if you see it down here and we'll go to the next step. All right, so the next step is gonna be under display. Select change resolution. Here you wanna select your primary monitor. Under resolution, under PC, select your native resolution. For me, I've got 1920 by 1080. Now, on the right hand side, this is important, hit the drop down list and find the highest refresh rate that your monitor supports. Select that, hit apply, and say yes. Now, if your monitor has a G Sync module or is G Sync compatible, you'll see the setup G Sync option on the left. Click that one. You want to select your primary monitor. Now, enable. G-Sync and G-Sync compatible, hit that checkbox. And make sure you turn on enable windowed and full screen mode. This will let G-Sync operate uh, when you've got something running in windowed mode or in full screen. Full screen is always better. Then if you have an apply button down the bottom, hit apply, hit OK. Now onto the games. All right, here we are in Apex Legends. Now I'm gonna turn my camera off here just so you can see the whole screen. Then we go down to the cog. Hit settings, go across the video, and let's go through them from the top. Display mode. Make sure you select full screen mode. Select your aspect ratio, should be 16 by 9 normally. You should know if you're running a ultra wide, you can select ultra wide. And the resolution, make sure you select your native resolution. I'm running a monitor that displays in 1920 by 1080, and I have native in brackets, so I know that that's my native resolution of my monitor. That's what you want to be running. Field of view, I run 110, it's maximum. Scroll down here. Now, V-Sync. V-Sync is only there if you do not have a G-Sync compatible or a G-Sync module in your monitor. If you do, we're utilizing the G-Sync functions. If you have a 60 hertz, 70 hertz monitor doesn't have G-Sync, this is where you want to turn on V-Sync. V-Sync will help reduce screen tearing with your game. So it looks smoother. But if you're running G-Sync, which you probably are, turn that off. Now, the next thing you want to turn on is NVIDIA Reflex. NVIDIA Reflex is exclusive to NVIDIA graphics cards. That's probably why you're watching this video. Turn this one from disabled or enabled all the way to enabled plus boost. Why? What boost does, it keeps the core clocks of your graphics card at its highest performing core clock all the time. So, you get the maximum performance, most FPS, 100% of the time, and there are no dips. So you get the best performance throughout the whole gaming session while you're playing Apex. Now, everything else down here is where you want to play with your settings to be able to hit the refresh rate of your monitor. So if you're running a 240 hertz monitor like me, you want to mix and match and adjust your settings here to be able to make sure you're hitting your 240 FPS. Now, if you're running a 60 Hertz monitor, 
and you're running a lower end graphics card. That's okay. You want to adjust your settings here so you can hit that 60 FPS target. And if you're running 120 hertz, again, adjust these settings so you can hit that 120 FPS without any issues. Then the last setting I turn on under gameplay is performance display set to on. This will show your frames per second and your latency on the screen so you can see, are you hitting the FPS that you're trying to match with your refresh rate of your monitor? If you're not, adjust those settings under videos so you can get those settings dialed in. And there you have it guys. I hope this video helped you. If it did, give us a thumbs up down below. If there are any tips and tricks that you have that I missed or didn't cover, put them in the comments section down below. I'd love to read them. We also stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash siliconart. Play a lot of eSports titles like Valorant, Apex, Overwatch, as well as many other titles. Um, hit subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more awesome videos like this one. See ya.